içindeyiz Galatasaray'ın ve Hollanda milli takımının efsanevi yıldızlarından Wesley Snyder'la birlikteyiz. Wesley, welcome. Thank you very much. Do you miss Turkey? Always, always. And I would love to go back all the time. So, uh, yeah, 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 the Turkish people, they are really in my heart. Many people love you in Turkey, you know. And how are your feelings before the games? Well, but, uh, the feeling is uh, Turkey, they did very well so far. They have, they have a good team, a uh, talented team, a uh, new team, young players, old players. Uh, so they, they did a great job so far. Uh, but now they're facing Holland. It's going to be it's going to be difficult for them. But even though with the, with the fans, with the atmosphere in the stadium, they might have an advantage. So um, yeah, Holland should be aware of that. What would you say are the biggest strengths and weaknesses for both of teams? I think the Turkish uh, biggest uh, weakness is is the defense, and that's our biggest strength, especially uh, with Gordy Kakpo on the left side. Uh, with Memphis, with Simons, with uh, Bergwijn if he plays, or Malen, we are really strong up front. So that might be an interesting thing. Uh, but Turkey, the biggest, the biggest strength of Turkey is the passion. The biggest strength of Turkey is the fans uh, who they bring to the stadium. So uh, as I said, we should be really, 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 really aware of that. What has impressed you about uh, Turkey's performance so far? No, I'm really impressed by the Turkish performance, uh, especially the way they play. Uh, the last, uh, the last game when they beat Austria, uh, they they did an amazing game. Uh, so they were a little bit, a little bit lucky with a quick goal. That's an important one as well. But uh, at the rest, you know, they 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 had the control. Uh, of course, Austria, they they were strong, but um, they had a well-deserved victory. I want to ask you many situation about you. What is your opinion about uh, UEFA decision over many? Yeah, my opinion is, you know, it's for me it's a little bit too hard, you know, to punish uh, like that. And uh, maybe one game okay because you know the rules, but two games it's a little bit hard. But also in the in the situation, in the emotion, maybe you can you could give a warning as well, you know, like uh, don't make it happen again. But okay, it's the decision of the UEFA. I think it, it doesn't make Turkey uh, weaker. I think it, it makes Turkey now stronger because uh, they want to show everyone that they can win also without Demiral. Okay, uh, which Turkish player was your favorite at Euro 2024? I'm really surprised by Yildiz. Yildiz is doing a great tournament so far. Arda Güler with his great goal, of course, uh, in the first game, but... Uh, What is my biggest, you know, the, for me, it's a team. The team who, uh, who makes the difference, not an individual yet. But um, if I have to pick one player, the star player for me, for now, is Yildiz. Arda Güler, you know, uh, Turkey's young star. How can you describe Arda's style? He's a, he's a really big talent, uh, playing for a big club in, in the world. Um, he's still young, but he's playing really as an adult. He's not a child. Um, and that's that's what makes me, you know, he's playing simple, easy, but fast and quick when he needs to do. So uh, for me, he's uh, he's an amazing player, and for the future, he will be one of the big stars in the world. Snyder, uh, you have a very successful career at Inter, and Hakan Çalhanoğlu has Serie A uh, title at Inter, you know, and played the Champions League final. Uh, Snyder or Çalhanoğlu? And then I will say Snyder because I won the Champions League. Yeah. So uh, yeah, then I have to say Snyder, but he's a good player. And um, Inter is lucky that they have a player like him because he is a good player. He's an intelligent player uh, with a perfect uh, kick. So uh, what I said, uh, Inter is happy that he played for Inter Milan. My last question, of course, about Galatasaray, you know. Galatasaray won the uh, Super League title two seasons in a row, you know. Uh, were you able to watch your old team and what do you expect from Galatasaray in the Champions League? I, what I expect from Galatasaray is in, in the Champions League is what they, what they did in the, in the last... Uh, but I want to see them going to the, to the next stage, to the, to the knockout phase, you know, and, and to be successful there in Champions League, not only in the Super League. Uh, still, we need time for that. I think uh, in, 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 in Champions League, but we have to build with Galatasaray. I say we because my heart is uh, Galatasaray. We have to build on something like for a longer term and not for short term. 
Would you like to say something about Galatasaray fans? Galatasaray fans, you're always in my heart. Uh, for me, you're very special. I see you as a family. Uh, my heart is uh, yellow, red. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm always happy to be back. And one day I will be back. And maybe as a coach or, or whatever, but I will be back. My last questions. Uh, what will be your reactions after Netherlands or Turkey wins? Oh no! You know, you know it's. Uh, I, I think. I think uh, Netherlands will will win because they have a small advantage with with the players they have. Um, but as I said, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a 50-50 one. Thank you very much. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Evet Galatasaray'ın ve Hollanda milli takımının efsane oyuncularından Wesley Snyder'la birlikteydik Hollanda Türkiye karşılaşması öncesinde.